Hi, my name is Neil Jewson Smith and I've been campaigning on the dangers of distracted driving for many, many years. And for Project Edward this week, I just wanted to talk to you about the mobile phone, how the mobile phone has changed since the legislation was introduced in 2003 and the massive increase in functionality of what those phones are capable of now than what they were then. And primarily for Project Edward, I want to focus on business use and how businesses use mobile phones and specifically with their mobile workforces. What as an employer do you do in order to ensure that your mobile workforce stays safe? Are you sending them text messages? Are you calling them? Are drivers using their mobile phones as sat navs? There are lots of different aspects in this way that can affect the driver's attention, taking it from the road and putting it onto the phone. Do you continually want updates on locations and where they are and are they going to make that deadline or are they going to make that delivery on, or pick up on time? There are lots of distractions that we can put into place there that increase the risks of collisions that will cause serious injuries or fatalities. So what can you do for Project Edward? Well, if you're a driver of any vehicle whatsoever, you can make a personal pledge to say that you'll never use a mobile phone whilst driving. But if you're an employer or a manager and you have a mobile workforce, consider a non-use policy, something that helps your drivers and mobile workforce understand that even if you send them a message, they don't have to respond immediately. You will happily wait for them to stop where it's safe and then recontact you taking that risk element out of the roads and making our roads safer. If you're not prepared to do that, well then that situation comes with risks. And are those risks something that you're prepared to take and accept? Because the circumstances occurring on the road in front of your drivers can change. In an instant, I'm also Sergeant Jason Smith of Cheshire Police and this is not where you want to be.